the series of cyber security this side is Mina and today I will discuss about how do hackers use open ports to perform attack so guys like the video and share with your friends so let's start today's session a company can have their data on uh, in a separate segment as well which is uh, they want to open for uh, the internet users or the user which are outside their company and they want to access that data it can be ftp server uh, dns server or it's a web server any kind of service which they want to offer other uh, user which are outside they can have access on it okay and they make that segment or network in a separate network and with a very specialized kind of uh, we can say separating from the LAN local area network and they are giving special treatment to it that's a demilitarized zone okay maybe they are putting some uh, kind of uh, security special security for it the firewall or some rules to have access on it for example on the network who are having access on it they are not having access to the local area network why they are doing because once if some attack will happen on the dmz zone attacker can easily or uh, with the, some tricks uh, or uh, they are using uh, the uh, the network which is uh, uh, of company they can also enter into the local area network if they are uh, if they are in the same network so that companies keep the uh, those uh, servers in a separate network which they, they are giving access to the external world okay and hackers who are who can be outside the uh, network or can be inside the network so what they are doing to perform attack definitely first of all they just need to collect the information about uh, their company which type of ports are open okay so once they will able to find out if their unnecessary port or a port which can give them enough information to perform an attack or can give more information like uh, for example if they are uh, using uh, nmap and scanning uh, the network or sending some kind of uh, uh, some kind of request to the firewalls okay and if that firewall is having uh, some kind of a default banners which can provide the more information to the hackers okay or what type of services are they using or if uh, they are having some uh, uh, servers for example uh, um, on the dmz server they are having uh, a web server of the, of the company and when the hacker access that web server that particular web server is providing some information about the which port are open and what type of uh, service is running on it what os is running out what applications are there and they will try to find out some vulnerability inside the network and once they will able to get that information definitely they will try to get information about the next level okay so if we are having unnecessary open port in our network that can be very very dangerous for the security of our devices our computers and for whole of our network okay so uh, being an administrator or uh, the uh, ethical hackers you need to find out what type of uh, uh, ports are open and how just you need to find out which port are open okay so that you can help the security guys these are the port which uh, can get which will uh, which can give the information to the hacker so that they can perform more attacks so just try to st try to stop or try to close those uh, ports and if unnecessary services uh, are running so stop those services so that it will be difficult for the hackers to perform attacks clear so uh, hackers 
if that inside that's more dangerous because he is having awareness complete about the network what uh, services are using what ports are open which devices are there and uh, what kind of uh, users are having specific vulnerabilities how to collect the information from them okay so hackers are uh, able to perform different different kind of uh, attacks and they are just if outside the network they will also try to find out which port are open okay so i am just giving here uh, an example of the nmap which is giving the information what ports are open okay there are multiple tools which can be gui okay and which can the port can be uh, with the cli so that they will use different parameters to collect the information about the ports uh, this tool can be nmap and uh, netcat uh, hping there are multiple multiple tools and uh, they can collect the information of the specific uh, specific pc specific device or they can collect the information of the complete network and they can also collect the information about the complete website as well okay so they, they with there are a lot of parameters they can use to get, uh, collect the information whatever they need and once they will find they will uh, uh, also able to find what operating system that device is running what type of vulnerabilities are there what applications you are using and those applications having vulnerabilities and they will able to perform attack so guys just you can see the port which are uh, need not to be open if that open attackers can get a uh, lot of information and can perform different attacks so guys you can follow me on cyber security prism and like the video share with your friends so that they will also able to understand uh, why it's important to block or just stop unnecessary ports okay and uh, in the next session i will discuss about uh, bring your own device policies so that you would be able to understand is your company following a powerful BYOD policies? So stay safe. Namaste. See you in the next session.